Hi, and welcome once again to Stone Soup. The world according to sci-fi geeks. And today we're going to talk about what we did on Mother's Day. Yes. We went to see... The, the Avengers. Avengers, <laughs> Avengers assemble! assemble! Which well, they never said. <gasps> they will. They have to eventually. Yes, that would probably be the highlight of the second movie. I will admit there wasn't, wasn't any, really, any real place to say it in this yeah. one. But still. <laughs> yeah. Now, the thing is, the weekend before... We did a review because we like to do our homework. Uh -huh. So first, we watched part one of the Avengers. Iron it was Man. called Iron Man. And then we watched part two, the Hulk. And then we watched part three, Iron, Iron Man, Man 2. two. You ne can never get too much of Tony Stark. No. And then part four, Thor. 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 Oh, sorry. I really <laughs> like Thor. And last but not least, certainly, <laughs> Captain, Captain America. America. And then we went to see, should have just handed that to you, Yes, anyway. The Avengers. Yes. Now, we had read, because mm -hmm. we read, mm -hmm. that it had been written and directed by Joss Whedon, who, did, who created Buffy and Angel Firefly and, and, and Firefly and Dollhouse. Yes. Oh, and he's and also one of the head writers on Toy Story. Yeah. He's just this freaking brilliant genius guy, and mm -hmm. he's wonderful. Hey, uh, it, ha it has been said before, but we shall we'll say, say it again. again. Just Joss Whedon, Whedon is, is our, our master, master now. now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is he ever? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Avengers is fabulous. It is fantastic. Okay. And, I mean, they built it through all these movies. They mm -hmm. really did. And watching them all, I mean, literally in two days we watched all five movies. Yes. You can see <laughs> the thread. I mean, we knew it was there. Oh, yeah. But you see it more clearly. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, my God, there's Agent Coulson. There he is again. And, and, again. And, and Nick and Nick and Nick and Agent Coulson and Nick. And mm -hmm. he just all the way through. Yes. And it's like, way cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they built it up carefully. I mean, you knew they were doing it because, well, the well, very first hint was the Avengers Initiative. Well, that and, and that was at the end of the first Iron Man movie mm -hmm. when Nick Fury pops up. Yes. <laughs> we're trying to put together a team. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are? A team of what? <laughs> Superheroes. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Good luck with that. Mm -hmm. Now, we had talked to each other about, you know, what was going to be in the movie before we ever saw it? We thought, oh, there's got to be ego clashes. I mean, you've got oh, yeah. Tony Stark <laughs> and mm -hmm. Thor and Captain in America. America. You want to talk about A God. types? Yeah, thank God for Bruce Banner. Yes. You know, he's, he's barely a B type because he can't afford to be. Mm -hmm. you know, he has to be this meek, mild. He makes, you know, Clark Kent look like a big old bruiser and mm -hmm. a thug. And of course, because there's also, by the way, it's who, who we did not mention. They, uh, there are two other Avengers who are not yes. mentioned on the titles of these, but mm -hmm. in Iron Man 2, where is that? There. There. In Iron Man 2, we introduce Black Widow. Yes. I think her name is Natasha Romanoff. Mm -hmm. And she is played by Scarlett Johansson. Yes. Which is why I keep calling her Scarlet Witch. Who is you know, a, a member it, of the it, Avengers it, after a while. After a while, but Like the X-Men, the She's Avengers go through a turnover in the comics. Yeah. So a lot know. of turnover. Yeah, well, and we'll do Hawkeye was introduced in... Not that one. In Thor. Thor. In Thor. Although, as you has You just barely see him, but he's there, and it's the same actor. But has, as has been said in other online reviews, having him there and then not having him shoot a single arrow was just a mean old tease. <laughs> oh, I thought he did shoot an arrow. No, he, he was cocked and ready, but then, you know, it didn't happen. It, didn't it was happen. like, come on, people, one arrow. Yeah, seriously. But they managed to get good screen time in the yeah. event. Oh, yeah. Uh... They are, I mean, they're just two normal human beings who are mm. extremely well-trained. Mostly normal. <laughs> yeah, mostly normal. But they are just amazing. Yes. And one of, one of Josh Whedon's strengths is being able to give everybody sufficient time on mm -hmm. screen without having it feel like, okay, now it's Cap's turn. Yeah. It, it all felt perfectly balanced. Yeah, it is. It's beautifully balanced. It flows wonderfully. Mm -hmm. And the dialogue I, is, of course, you know, crackling. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, one thing I really liked was when the battle started, Cap, because he is a soldier. Mm -hmm. And a captain. And a captain. He starts snapping out orders. Mm -hmm. And the others and not, follow and, him. And not just to the Avengers who followed them because, okay, whatever. Yeah. But he, there are a the bunch of cops that show up, and he's like, okay, he goes to one of the cops, this is what you need to do. And the cop's yeah, like, boom, why boom, should boom. I take your orders? 
And then somebody, one of the baddies attacks Cap, and he's like, pow, 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 and the baddie goes flying. And the cop says, right, hey. <laughs> and trucks off to do what he'd been told to do. Uh-huh. Yeah, starts relaying the orders to everybody else. Yeah. But that, that was also a wonderful bit, that the cops were there doing what they could. Because if normal folks, like mostly normal folks, like Widow and Hawkeye can be fighting the aliens with their guns and bow and arrow, then the cops can be fighting mm-hmm. with their guns. <gasps> and somebody, you know, that's what they do. Mm-hmm. They're not going to sit on their butts. They might stare for a moment, like any person, and go, what the? But then they'll Something's fight. Something's coming out of the freaking sky. <laughs> and it's shooting at us. Shoot back. <laughs> yep, shoot back. If we can't do anything else, we freaking shoot back. Yep. But, uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's just, mm-hmm. like we say, it's, it's wonderful. And, of yes. course, it's made a billion dollars. Literally, it has grossed a billion dollars. Yes. This is its fourth weekend in the theaters, and mm-hmm. it's grossed a billion dollars. Well, third weekend here, fourth total count total in the first week in, in, you know, in overseas. Europe. But, I mean, yeah. yeah, that's a lot of money. And just so. think, DC took Wonder Woman away from Joss because they didn't like what he, he was, was doing. doing. No, no, they thought he was laughing good. now. No. Yeah. <laughs> in could your been, face, DC. See, could have been your billion dollars. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My only particular complaints, and these are tiny quibbling things. Again, the complete lack of Avengers Assemble. Uh-huh. Nobody ever called Thor Goldilocks, which is something they do in the comics to tease him because he doesn't have the long blonde hair. And there's a perfect opportunity for it after their initial rough first meeting when Tony <laughs> is apologizing to him. Would have been a perfect place to toss in Goldilocks. <laughs> you know, no hard feelings here. You got me throwing the arm there, the oh, Goldilocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would have been, pr- and uh, it's probably going to be Tony that tags him with it because. Mm-hmm. Well, Cap is too um, straight-laced. Yeah. And, like I say, Thor just kind of... No, not, not Thor, Thor. Not Thor. Bruce. Bruce. Bruce is just kind of, you know, wimpy. And not really. I mean, yeah. you see this flash of who he would be if he dared. Yes. Who he probably when, was before the experiment went so hideously wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Bana? Never mind. What? <laughs> what? That was the first actor who played him. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the, in the movies. Right, yes. We've had Eric Bana, Ed Norton, and now Mark Ruffalo, I think is how his name is. Yeah, Ruffalo. Ruffalo, something like that. Something like that. We don't know how you pronounce your name, sir. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, they were all good in their way. Uh-huh. I think I liked Ed Norton best, but that's just mm. me. But, but uh, uh, my other tiny quibble is that in the comics, there were two other founding members of the Avengers, Wasp and Ant-Man. And they were taking out Wasp, they took out the other female member. Yeah, they said the one one woman they really mm-hmm. need to get Scarlet Witch and Wasp in there just to have a few more. And my husband says She-Hulk. Yes. He likes She-Hulk. Uh, well, we I personally th- feel that they want to keep making Hulk movies. They really need to introduce Shulky. Because she is fun. Yeah. She is six foot nine, emerald green, and loves every second of it because she still has her mind. Yeah. <laughs> She's still Jennifer Walters mm-hmm. as opposed to this big green monster thing that, you know, rips up everything in its path. Yep. No, she just, she, uh, she can still, she's a lawyer. She can still walk around and try a case, although I suspect the opposing attorney would object on the grounds <laughs> of her being distracting. But <laughs> just, just go. Just a teeny little bit. She's like, you know what it costs to have this suit made? But yeah. <laughs> Of course, for a while there, she didn't have a choice. She was stuck as she hoped. I don't know if she still is or not, but. Uh, it's been a long time I since know. I read she, she Hulk. But either way, yes. <laughs> but yeah. You can she, you just imagine, you know, Bruce. And, and Bruce. Now, now that we've got such fantastic CGI that. Yes. You know, you just. I mean, Mark Ruff, 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 Ruffalo actually was the Hulk in the Hulk scenes. Mm-hmm. They put the suit thing on him like they do on Andy Serkis, and he just. And yep. they just made him, you know, eight Big. feet tall and. Four feet wide with shoulders like a Buick, and mm-hmm. poof, off he went. Hulk smash. Hulk smash. <laughs> can you just imagine Bruce brings in Jennifer, and okay, what can she do for the team? Well, she's a lawyer, so if anybody you know, tries to cause trouble that way. And okay, Tony's like, I can pay for lawyers. Here's, um, says Jennifer, I think the more important thing is this. Shift, oh, she can change anytime she wants. Yeah, she's got control of it. She can shift back and forth at will. Or at and she up could. she goes, and they're all like, what the hell? Is she Hulk? Yep. <laughs> you have a mate? Ew, no, cousin. cousin. <laughs> that, that would be her. 
But it would be fun. They really yeah, need to do that just because she would be such a fun a character. character. Yeah, she would. She would be a blast. Yeah, there aren't enough characters out there really who get their superpowers and go, cool. Especially, <laughs> especially not in uh, Marvel in the Marvel verse. Yeah, too many of them are doom and gloom. <laughs> doom and gloom. That's why what's his name was the favorite on Heroes that first season. Yeah. Hero. Mas <laughs> Mas Hero, yes. Masayoka. I mean he was he was just having a ball. Look what I can do. <laughs> now now the Avengers are not a whole bunch of doom and gloomers either, especially not Tony, because Tony uh, is Tony. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, there is a certain level of, you know, the deep responsibility. And, you know, you need to have that attitude. But they aren't actually, you're right. They're, well, um, Widow and Hawkeye a little bit. Little but the bit. other three are like, I mean, the other four are like, eh. Well, no, okay, like cool. you say, Hulk. Hulk's a little, mm -hmm. because he has to control that. Yeah. But Thor, Thor is the god of thunder, and he looks it. And <laughs> yeah, he is yummy. But anyway, uh, We're back. you know, <laughs> he's not... He grew up like this. It doesn't bother him the slightest. It's not superpowers to him. It's actually another bit of brilliant who writing I am. is that Thor is still trying to reach Loki. After all, adopted or no, they were brothers, mm -hmm. and he wants his brother back. Mm -hmm. The problem is that Loki has gone completely bug nuts. Yeah. <gasps> Cuckoo. So, so basically, you know, you actually have like Iron Man and Thor who are perfectly happy. Mm -hmm. Cap is still getting used to the fact that he's in. 70 years in the future. 70 years in the future, which can't is blame a little him for that. unnerving. Can't blame yeah, him. You can't blame him for that. For like, everything he knows I'm is I'm just going to go hide in this gym here and pound on these heavy bags. Yes. Because, because I don't know what the hell is going on out there, but it doesn't look like anything I recognize. Yeah. Sure yeah, try explaining the internet. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. That would be a fun thing to do. <laughs> yeah. You're talking to somebody where? Without a telephone? Well, sort of technically we are on the phone. I mean, we have something called a modem. Well, we used to use the phone, so I guess we don't have to use the phone yeah, lines really. anymore. I don't really know how it works either. I just know it does. It's, <laughs> it's called Skype. Deal with it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's called <laughs> Skype. Deal with it. Man, they had those in Dick Tracy. Yeah, Cap, we know. Oh. We haven't close forgotten enough. Dick Tracy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, close enough, except when Dick Tracy could wear his on his wrist, and this takes a whole you know, thing. But, but other than that. But other than that, yeah. We're digressing. Yes, anyway, the point are. is, you know, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. Stay to the end of the movie. Yes. All the way to the there end of the movie. There are technically two cookies. You know, first I you have missed them. Yes. Oh, we, no. I missed the first one. Yes. I did see the second one. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's one that just a little ways into the credits, which is giving you a taste of the next movie. And if you follow the comics well enough to recognize who's there, it's like, oh, fudge. And yeah. then there's the cookie, cookie at the very end, which is obviously something that happened right after the main fight. <laughs> and the funny thing is it sort of mirrors an idea that we have had for an, an uh, uh, Avengers X-Men crossover. Yeah. Which is uh, with, with the power pack. But mm -hmm. anyway, I guess we shouldn't say what it is because then we'd ruin it. Yeah. A yeah. Bit. <laughs> but we were, we were kind of, hey, yeah, they thought of that. Josh Whedon thought of that too. Yes, yes we're as good as Josh Whedon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, you know, there are certain things that are going to happen to you after you've had a battle that lasts all day. Mm -hmm. And you're literally running without a moment's rest. Yep. Oh, it makes my hips hurt just to think about it. But anyway, <laughs> you know, you're, there are certain repercussions of that. So, yes, yeah, stay in, all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. The reason I missed the first one was I couldn't. There are just certain things you have to do. Mm -hmm. And I'd been sitting there jiggling for the last 45 minutes. So as soon as I thought I could go, I ran. And then I ran back and said, don't I miss it, don't I miss it, don't I miss it. Yes, oh, crap. And then the other one happened. I said, well, at least I got to see that one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's why Blu-rays were invented. Yes. Oh, don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, one of the good things about the movie, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, everything else we just said, is just, it wasn't just the balance of the characters, but the balance of story versus action. Because you know, they have the obligatory yes. big action scene at the end. But of there was course. a good deal of story and build-up leading up to it. Mm -hmm. Part of the story was uh, trying to put this team together. Because mm -hmm. they had never worked together. Nick had kind of suggested to him it might not be a bad idea if you would work together. And they, were, and they were all like, no. Tony yeah. is something of a loner because, well, he's an egotist. Bruce yeah. is a loner because, well, he's afraid to be around people much. <laughs> so he's afraid if he, you know, loses it, people will die. Mm -hmm. Cap, Cap is... just got back from being in the ice for 70 years. He just doesn't know anybody. Mm -hmm. Thor, well, no, Thor works in groups. He just hasn't worked with these people before. Yeah. Also, being the god of thunder, he would expect to be the leader. 
And he's not. <laughs> On the other hand, action. he has learned humility. Yes. Go see the Thor movie, you'll understand. But he mm -hmm. has learned that there's a time and a place for him to obey orders. Mm -hmm. And so he does. Yeah, Hartline Hartline because Widow. when Cap starts snapping out the orders, they're the right orders. Mm -hmm. They're what you should do. All right, you know, okay, got it. Yep. And uh, so. Now, Black Widow and Hawkeye, you know, they already worked for S.H.I.E.L.D., so they're already cool with following orders and yeah. working in a group. 